Uh, I really gotta get on this whole little thing of like posting a video. Good lord. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. I'm, I'm gonna keep it short because for some odd reason, I just don't have the motivation to edit some of the videos that I've already posted, uh, that I've already made. Okay. Um, yeah. So, what's up, everybody? It's KR086, and I'm here. I'm making a video. Felt like keeping it short. Uh, one, I'm gonna say this one particular fact. I am not gonna talk about politics. I am definitely not gonna talk about politics. Cause God, Lee, oh good lord. Every, like, it, it, I know I said I did, I wasn't gonna talk about politics. I'm gonna talk about some of the TikToks I've seen when it comes to politics. I mean, good lord, how many, how many TikToks do I have to see about, like, people either feeling like they, they, they were all, they are right all along when it comes to who came, who actually got elected. Um, uh, how many people are, I would, as much as I hate to say it, coping uh, with the results of the election. I mean, I can understand why. Uh, um, but like, I mean, just, and just, it just seems like, Everything is misinformation at this point. I, I, like, either side has misinformation about certain things. <laughs> and it's ridiculous. It's so ridiculous. Because you don't know exactly what's what or what's real or not. And it's crazy. I mean, I was scrolling down TikTok earlier and I kept seeing, like, things about how it's still possible that Kamala Harris could win the election. Come on, people. Come on. Come on. She conceded. She's walked out. Leave it alone. And I'm not saying that because of the fact that, again, this is why I don't like talking about politics because at some point I'm going to have to sit there. You're probably, somebody's probably going to be wondering, well, who did you vote for? And I'm just going to be like, I am not. I am not answering that question because on either way, on one hand, yeah, it might, it might give me praise from one side. On the other hand, it might give me hatred from the other side. And I don't like that, you know? So, that's the reason why I don't like talking about politics, people. Huh. But regardless, it's just, look, I'm willing to sit here and deal with whatever comes next in the four years that we got going on. I will keep busting my butt working. Um, I'll keep making videos when I can. And, you know, that's how I'm going to do. That's how I'm going to go through the rest of these few years. And since I'm still single, yeah, well, there's a big possibility I'm not going to get any. Or to some women online. Or maybe I might still get some, depending on which way I vote it. But again, I don't like talking about who I voted for, so therefore I'm probably not going to get any. Just kidding. Anywho, regardless, that's my stance on what gone down in the past, like, what, week, I believe? So, yeah. Although, I will tell you this. I did have a dream the night of the election, okay? Like, I woke up, and this felt so real. Like, I woke up. Now, I'm upstairs, like, right beyond this particular wall, this bookshelf of a wall, it's the stairs, going down to the door, to the living room, and me walking out the door, okay? So, I woke up. I had a dream where I woke up that morning, check my, check Google for the results of the election and the election results, like the election results were exactly the reverse of what they were when I actually woke up. Like this is the weird thing. 
I woke up. Kamala Harris won by 277. Donald Trump was down like 209 or something like that. I forget what the actual results were when I woke up, but it was literally the reverse. Okay? It literally had Kamala Harris at 277, and Donald Trump had the exact amount of votes, had the exact amount of electoral votes that Kamala Harris did. And so I was getting dressed for work. I got dressed. I was, I had taken a shower. I felt the water on my face, the heat of the water and everything. Okay. And I, I had finished getting dressed and I was walking downstairs to the door, to my room. And I get to the door. I'm starting to open the door and then I wake up. And when I wake up, and this is granted, I didn't get any sleep that night. Like, I woke up at 2 a.m., 2.30 in the morning, two hours after I w went to sleep initially, and I could not get back to sleep. And I looked at the election results, and it was exactly the reverse of what my dream had. I was shook. I was like, what is going on? Like, this cannot be the case. What, like, how, how is that even possible? Like, how can I see those exact numbers, 277 and whatever Kamala Harris was actually at, but in reverse, exactly. Like, how, the, like, does that make any sense to you guys? I mean, I don't know. Anywho. But that was the one thing I have to say was weird about that day. Like, and a couple of the, and throughout the past couple of days, I kept going back and forth. Like, it felt like I was going back and forth. Like, I literally crossed into, I, I literally was in the one alternate dimension where Kamala Harris won, and I woke up, and it was, and I've been going, hopping, skipping back and forth while asleep or something like that. I mean, I went home, took a nap after work, and I saw this weird thing of me traveling. Like, okay, have you ever seen the Breath of Fire Dragon Quarter opening, right? Where you see Ryu in his, like, semi-dragon form just kind of floating, going through, like, a whole bunch of tunnels, but... Yeah, I had that, but I was, it was like, it changed from blue to red to red to blue. It was just going, constantly going like that, and I felt it. It was weird. Anywho, regardless, like, this is how I was going to feel regardless of who I was going to be president next four years. Okay, cool. What to freaking do? And yes, I did vote. Still not going to tell you what I voted for. Anyways, but that's how I'm going to go about my life going forward four year more I got four years okay let's just hunker down and do what we gotta do until then if people if a lot of people were right about what Trump is um, implementing then yes it's going to be a kind of a harsh thing that we're going to be dealing with for uh, four years Especially uh, when it comes to us buying groceries and gas prices and all kinds of things. But if not, well, we might actually be. If it's the way that a lot of people, the uh, Trump supporters felt like, yeah, we might actually see ourselves getting uh, living better lives or something like that. I don't know. All I know is, I'm just gonna, you know, take it one day at a time. That's all we can do at this point. So, that being said, what do I want to talk about? <laughs> well, I do want to talk about one thing. I want to play, um, I'm, I, I'm, I'm gonna get back into some other video games that I've exhausted my metaphor re re fantasy i mean i'm still gonna play like a little bit every once in a while 
but due to my roommate recently getting her own PS5 and um, her and her um, nephew uh, playing it constantly and playing GTA online I think I'm gonna and now that GTA 6 is on the horizon I think I'm finally going to do the one thing that I haven't done yet I've had Grand Theft Auto 5 for years because <laughs> we all know Grand Theft Auto 5 has been out for almost two decades <laughs> Uh, but I've had Grand Theft Auto 5 for years. I think I'm going to either stream or post videos. Maybe on my gaming channel. Maybe on this channel. The entire game. Me actually beating the game. Because I have yet to beat the game. Like, you know, there's some... The, the issue that I have with games like Grand Theft Auto and Skyrim. And Fallout 4. Is... There's so much to do that I, I, I get lost in the sauce, basically. I get, I, 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 I'm on the main uh, quest path for about, I don't know, uh, I'd say a good 25% of it, of the main quest. And then all of a sudden I find a side quest or find something else to do or another activity to do. And I get lost in that as a activity or those side quests and all that stuff. It's, I lose track of everything. And then when I finally, and then I, I finally lose steam in playing the game because I feel like I'm just doing absolutely nothing. And I quit the game for a good long period of time. And I mean, a good long period of time. I find other, I find multiple other games that I actually do end up completing before I go back to those games. In fact, I still got to do that with <laughs> with the Hogwarts Legacy game. Good lord! Um, but I tend to forget all about it, and then like I go back to the game years, uh, months, or years later and then try to play it and then I have no idea where I'm at I have no idea what to do I am so confused and confuddled heck I downloaded Grand Theft Auto 5 once again uh, on my PS5 well actually for the first time on my PS5 and I tried to play the game and like I forgot how to use the special abilities of each of the characters I lost track of where I was <coughs> all I do know is that I I you know I was far enough to the point where like um oh what's his name not Michael not Trevor um I'm the only black guy in the game Goodness, that you play as Jesus why can't I remember his name but you know he uh Franklin there we go Franklin already has moved out of his uh, aunt's house, or his mom's house. Aunt? Mom? I don't know. He's already moved out of that house and gotten in that one house in the hills, so. But that's it. I don't remember anything else. I don't remember where I'm at, what to do, and all that stuff, so I'm going to start all over. Start a whole new game. I'm gonna start a whole new game and you know, I'm gonna stream it, I'm gonna record it, one of the two or the other. <laughs> and I know I still gotta do the Trailer Cold Steel playthrough. Oh, good lord. And there's so many things, there's so many projects I got going on. But I'm gonna try to do it. So, this video is getting posted regardless. Hopefully a little bit of editing, small little bit of editing. Um, but hopefully you guys enjoy um, what's coming next. Do not and look, it's no, it's November. It's about to be Thanksgiving. I'm about to have to work a lot at night. <sighs> Give me, just bear with me. 
I mean, it's one thing if I was making like a, a if I was getting a whole bunch of views, there'd be a whole bunch more in, uh, motivation for me to make these videos, okay? However, at the same time, I make these videos for fun. Like this is just a hobby to do um, in my free time. So, you know, feel free to subscribe if you want to. Feel free to view, like, and comment if you like to. However, you know, bear with me when I decide to make videos because at the end of the day, this is this isn't even a, a, a second. I'm not even making money from this yet. Yet, if I do, cool. If I don't, cool. I've said this so many times. However, I do have my jobs to do. I do. I do have my job to do. My work, my actual job. I do have the DoorDash that I do on the side, and of course, I got other responsibilities around the house. And with my actual family um, and sometimes um, helping out my roommate with stuff and my roommate's family with stuff so just bear with me that's all I say so again I'm sorry for the long hiatus but that's how things go anyways till next time see you guys later peace